Welcome to the micro learning series. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create a background or what we call a banner in LinkedIn. So for example, if you take a look at my banner on my LinkedIn page, you can see that we've added a picture, some text, uh, finding insight in an ocean of data. We call that a vision statement. I've added an IBM logo. I've added some of my badges that I've acquired and a LinkedIn certified professional badge. So this is the kind of idea that you can uh, work with in LinkedIn. So it's very, very simple to do. It's as simple as just opening up a web page, going to Google, clicking on the word images, because I want to search for images, and then the resolution that you're looking for for LinkedIn and Facebook is 1400 space, little x, space, 425 and you can see it fills in for you you don't even have to finish it and when you type in 1400 by 425 there are literally thousands tens of thousands of pictures that you can use as a background for your LinkedIn profile when you hover over the picture you'll actually see it is in fact 1400 by 425 now some pictures may not be 1400 by 425 don't use them uh, some people put them back with, uh, unfortunately, the wrong meta tag, so they're not 1400 by 425. You can use 1400 by 425 or above, but you can see that the vast majority of these pictures truly are 1400 by 425. So if you found a picture that you particularly like, you can click on it once, and you'll see it in a much larger picture. And then if you right-click and simply copy the image. Now, please don't copy copyrighted images uh, and, and you'll know them because they're watermarked so if you see a Getty image or any type of uh, Fotilla image you know do not use them certainly if they're watermarked but many of the pictures on this page should be just fine to use as your background so it's as simple then as going to PowerPoint opening a blank page in PowerPoint now I usually remove what they call the markers so I'll get rid of those place holders within and then I'll simply right click and paste and I'll get that picture that I just copied from Google now here you can resize it just to make it more comfortable and then all you want to do is click on add a text box for example and maybe you want to say something like helping customers navigate this this uh, big data world now you want to think about what you just typed something that will really say something about you something about how you can help and very specifically what you do here at IBM so if you're a blockchain person or if you're a data science person maybe you want to structure it slightly different we have one person that wanted to use disruptive as their theme. So in their background, and their vision statement, they have the words helping customers navigate this disruptive landscape. And then they have a picture of a light bulb on a beautiful wooden background and someone smashing it with a hammer for that disruptive piece. You can add an IBM logo by simply going back to Google. And in that case, you would type in and search for IBM logo and then the word transparent and transparent will give you no background so when you click on an actual picture of, of a logo you should see this light colored checkerboard that tells you that that logo does not have a white or black background so once again, if you simply copy the image, go back to your PowerPoint, and paste it, you get the IBM logo without a background. So if I shrink that down, and maybe I put it over here or up here, and I can use a white one if it doesn't work well. And here you probably want to go back and make this a little larger and probably white because it's a darker picture you may want to use white or a dark blue maybe so it really depends on what look you're going for now I think I'm gonna put this down here 
I'm going to move this over here just so it stands out better. Make it a little bit smaller. And when you're finished putting those things that you want on your picture, many people use a college crest. So for example, if maybe you went to Ohio State University, you could do the same thing and say Ohio State logo transparent and search for that. And there's a whole bunch of them. So maybe this one. Yes, it is transparent because it's got the checkerboard. And if I were to copy that image, go back to my PowerPoint, paste that image, shrink it down, maybe put it over here in the picture, just, you know, kind of out of the way, but it's a conversation starter that you went to Ohio State or Penn State or Temple, wherever you happen to have gone. And maybe you want to make this italic. Maybe you want to put quotes around it. So it is your personal style. Now you have to be careful because a picture is going to sit right about here. So maybe you have to make that two lines okay, and move it up okay, so that you avoid your picture. You can also use the badges from IBM that we get. So you could put little badges maybe next to your picture. And when you get all this finished, you simply select all of them and then right click anywhere in the picture and you get an option that says save as picture. And then maybe you want to call it LinkedIn background or banner. Save it to wherever you know you can find it. I'll save this to my desktop. And then when you go back to LinkedIn, so if you go back to your LinkedIn and you click on this little pencil right here, we talked about this in another lesson, okay. and then click on this pencil for the background, this is where you'll be able to change or upload a file. Because I already have one, it says change photo. If you don't have a picture right now, it would say upload picture. And when you upload that picture, Okay. That will show up in this title block and you simply say apply. So that's exactly how I did the, the picture that you see behind us. So that's it. I know this was a little longer than many of them. Uh, keep in touch and look forward to more in the series. Thank you.